What's up? Average Kurt here, aka the internet chef who's got more haters than everybody hates Chris. So I decided to rock my tank top, give him something more to hate on, show off some side boob, you know how I do. Also, it's laundry day. Anyways, today I'm doing Ron Swanson proud and making steak with an old fashioned. Now, you might look at that steak and say it's undercooked, and to that I say, it's not your fault, you were just raised terribly. And you might look at that old fashioned and say, where's the cherry and the orange? Ron Swanson doesn't put fruit in his cocktails. And here's everything you need to make it. A bourbon or a whiskey, I like bullet bourbon, I think it's the best value for your money. Also gonna need some Mrs. Buttersworth or any kind of syrup, but Mrs. Butterworth is definitely preferred. A measuring cup, sugar, bitters, a nice cut of meat. I went with a ribeye, I'd go with either that or a New York strip, that's just my preference. Some thyme, butter, salt, and pepper. The first thing you want to do is let that steak sit out at room temperature for at least 30 to 45 minutes. And I did forget to mention olive oil, you'll need that too. Coat both sides of the steak with olive oil after it's sat out for 30 to 45 minutes, then get some fresh cracked pepper and coat each side liberally with it. White people, pay attention, season the shit out of your steak. And then also take some salt and coat both sides as well. Salt and pepper on both sides liberally. Don't be shy. And while you're doing this, put your pan on the stove on high. You want a ripping hot skillet to put your steak in. Now the way I do my steaks, I cook them for about two and a half minutes on each side. Then I take them to my preheated oven, which is set at 500 degrees. Now I'm cooking this in a cast iron skillet, which is great, but not necessary. You can cook this in a pan and get the same results. If your pan is not oven safe though, just transfer the steak to a baking sheet and then put it in the oven. After two and a half minutes, you should have a golden brown and crispy crust just like this. And then I'm gonna throw in three tablespoons of butter and some thyme. The butter is necessary, the thyme is not. Fellas, if you're trying to impress a lady while balling on a budget during the pandemic, this is the perfect meal. This steak is definitely enough for two people. Am I gonna eat the whole thing by myself? Of course, but definitely enough for two people. And I think it was like 16 bucks. And you can obviously you know, make a baked potato or, or make some french fries on the side. I just wanted steak and whiskey. I'm a simple guy. But if you got a date over, you know, make some baked potatoes, make some asparagus some shit like that. Now after that steak's been cooking for about a minute to a minute and a half on that other side, start spooning on some butter. Not only will you look like you know what you're doing, but it will add some great flavor to the steak. Trust me on this. Once it's done cooking for two and a half minutes on each side, I'm gonna take it to the oven where I'm gonna cook it for 500 degrees for five minutes. Now you'll see I got a meat thermometer. If you got one, great, cook it to 125, but it's not necessary. For rare to medium rare, cook it for five minutes at 500. For a little more well done than that, cook it for seven minutes, any longer than that, and you'll ruin the steak. Now it's time to make the simple syrup. And if you're buying simple syrup, you're wasting your money. It's so easy to make. Have a pot on medium heat, put one cup of water in, one cup of sugar in, and mix it up until the sugar is dissolved. And then I like to give a generous squeeze of Mrs. Buttersworth for two reasons. One, I think it adds some good flavor to the simple syrup. And two, it's just nice to touch a woman. It's, it's been a while for me. It's just, it's, it's nice, even if it is a bottle of syrup. Once everything's all melted and mixed together, gonna transfer it to an old glass liquor bottle. Don't use plastic, cause this is hot and it will melt. And if you wanna live dangerously like I do, do it over your stove top. I got my steak out of the oven where it cooked for five minutes at 500 degrees. Please, please, please let your steak rest. I let mine rest for 10 minutes, at minimum let it rest for five. You gotta give it time to reabsorb all those juices so they don't come spilling out when you slice into it. And it's not gonna get cold, you'll be fine. The steak will actually continue cooking while it rests. All that's left is to slice it up. And while I'm slicing, you might be thinking, this steak is undercooked, it's rare. Yeah, that's how I like my steaks, rare to medium rare. And you'll see on the close-up, it's got a nice crusty brown rim around the outside and a nice hot pink center. That's how I like my steaks. If you want yours more medium, leave it in the oven for another couple minutes and you'll be fine. This is how I like my steaks though. 
Now it's time to make an old fashioned. I got this fancy ice cube tray, makes giant cubes. I got it at Target for like six bucks. You'll also need a jigger so you can properly measure your alcohol. I go with three ounces of bourbon and I have that like cool little mixy cup thing. You don't really need one of those. You can do this in a glass and mix it up as well. If you do it in a glass though, don't add ice to the glass you're mixing it in because you'll make a big mess. And then I add three fourths of an ounce of that simple syrup, put the top of my shaker mixer thing and then give it a good shake. Gonna take one of my fancy ice cubes, add it to my glass, add a few dashes of bitters, and then take my bourbon and simple syrup mixture and pour it on top. And I really don't know how Ron Swanson feels about old fashions, so if he's not about them, this meal is for Don Draper because he'd be all about it. But now it's close up time and you can see what I was talking about. There's a nice brown rim around the steak with that hot pink center. This is a perfectly cooked steak in my opinion. And my opinion is the only one that matters on my show. I did it again. Now, all that's left is to take this steak and all into it. Let's get that steak in your mouth, Average Kurt. And it's juicy, delicious, tender. A steak Ron Swanson would brag about to his friends. It's a steak he'd want a picture with to add to his photo album. And the best way to wash down a steak you made yourself is with an old fashioned you made yourself. Give my recipe a try and tell me you don't like it. If you do tell me you don't like it, you're a liar. Ooh, slipped a nip so I had to cover it up with a pasty. Hey, did you like the shit you saw today? If so, oh, I'm usually wearing a shirt that says like and subscribe. But please like and subscribe. Also follow me on the gram at Average Kurt Cooks. Salute to you guys for watching. I'm just gonna hang out, get fat, get drunk, get happy, enjoy my perfectly cooked steak and my well-made old fashioned. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll catch you next time.